Hey, this is XA Anderson. Welcome to the Principal Podcast, where we look at principles that I think govern everything. So again, in the first podcast, I've reviewed this more than once. Let's talk about it again. Gravity is just there. Gravity can either make me very wealthy or gravity could injure me. How could gravity make me wealthy? Well, I could build a skydiving company. I could build a a ski resort. I could build a a hydroelectric dam. All of these use gravity to uh, benefit the owners. Or I could be hiking along, get careless with gravity, stumble and fall off a cliff and get injured or die. Gravity is just there. The only thing that changes is do I align with it or do I, do I ignore it? Gravity can make me wealthy. Gravity could injure me or kill me. The only choice is do I, do I ignore it or do I align with it? So, so we're talking today. Um, I'm a huge believer, and I've talked about this a few times, that if you want to know what the real big principles are, Jesus Christ has those principles. So today I'm just going to read something from his very words. King James Version. It's in Matthew 7. And I got to tell you that reading these words are not easy for me. In fact, C.S. Lewis said something to the effect that if anyone can read the Sermon on the Mount, which is what I'm about to read part of it, and just have, just feel peaceful and tranquil, um, he couldn't imagine a more dangerous spiritual condition. He goes, who wants to be, who wants to feel like they've been hit on the, hit in the face with a sledgehammer? When you read these words, um, most likely uh, you'll probably feel like you were uh, it's very possible that you'll feel like you were reprimanded. I know that I do when I read them, they're not easy to read. Okay. But I'm going to read it for you right now. It says, and why beholdest thou, this is Jesus talking. He says, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye. How will they say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye. And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Now, when I read these words, I want you to know, I think I fall into that to the core, strongly in the camp of being a hypocrite plenty of things that I do that are, that are not in accordance with Christ's words. But I think there's a principle here that we could look at. Uh, the principle is to start with you. It's so easy. I know it is easy for me to see others, um, what they're doing wrong. It's so easy to point out the faults, especially in your own family. It's easy to point out the fault of, well, if she only wouldn't do this, or if he only wouldn't do that, or look at this and, or you, 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 you know, when in reality, Christ is saying the principle is work on yourself. If you can see something evil in somebody else, it's probably a good indication that it's something you need to work on, something I need to work on, right? So this is a hard one. It's a tough one. It's one of those principles um, in another podcast, I compared it to, you know, there are these rules that apply to different things. There's just a few rules that apply to a skateboarder. There's more rules that apply to a, somebody who has to drive a car. Um, you've got to stop at stop signs. You've got to keep the speed limit. You've got to yield. You've got to obey different traffic signs and rules, but your ability to have freedom to go much further exists. So You might have less rules with a skateboarder, but you have more ability to do awesome things in a car. Well, you take it a step further and you may, you know, if you want to fly an airplane, there's even more rules. You've got air traffic control and how how high can you fly? And you've got to do very, very strict checks on the aircraft to make sure you can fly it. And there's very, very strict rules when flying aircraft, but yet your freedom is in an aircraft. You can go even further than in a car and faster. In a spaceship, there's probably even more rules. I mean, if you try to get in a spaceship and you don't get the trajectory right, you could you could fall out into outer space and drift away forever. Um, the, the people who control spacecrafts have to be very exact and, and follow rules right to a T. So but you can go a lot further in a spacecraft probably than you could even in an airplane. So you can see that as you go from a skateboard to a car, to an airplane, to a spacecraft, the number of rules 
and the strictness of those rules go up and your understanding of how the rules work all increase, have to increase. When I read this passage from, um, and by the way, giving tribute to my dad who originally came up with this concept, my dear dad and my, this, the same, um, the same concept was echoed in a book that was written by my sister, Shalissa Lindsay. Just want to give them credit. Um, but when I read the Sermon on the Mount, there are these rules that are just hard. I mean, I've got to work on myself first. That's hard. But if you can think about it in the same light as the difference between a skateboard to a car, a car to an airplane, an airplane, when we keep the, the strict hard rules, it's almost like we move up one notch on our ability to influence and help others and ourselves. So I hope one day I'll be great at this one, and I'm not but I want you to think about it. Here's a rule, a principle, a high principle given by someone who lives the principles perfectly, Jesus Christ. Think about that. This is Xane Anderson. Thanks for joining the Principle Podcast. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast today. So glad you joined. I am on a mission to help as many marriages and families and parents learn the principles and techniques that are going to help their marriages be better. And one thing I know about you, there are so many of you listening right now that have tips, that have techniques, that if you would just share them with the community, it could help. So please share them with the rest of us, share them with me. We'd love to hear them. Like, comment, subscribe, rate, review. Let's do everything we can to help as many marriages as possible. You know, I'm a huge believer that a wise man, Neil A. Maxwell said, if we don't fix marriages and families, everything else we do will be like straightening deck chairs on the Titanic. I'm sure I didn't quote that right, but it was something to that effect. Let's go to the root of the problem and help marriages and families. Feel free to follow me on, on social media. Most importantly, learn to follow Jesus Christ, who is the principal giver. And let's share as much as we can with each other to make this a great community where we can help people. Thanks again for joining.